The NFL on CBS continues the doubleheader game for the Dallas area. Yes, it's a gorgeous autumn afternoon. The roof is open, the Steelers are in town, and the Cowboys today will try to pull off a long shot victory. The Steelers, the last undefeated team in the NFL. Hello, friends, Jim Nance. Tony Romo, Tracy Wilson. Yes, the deck is heavily stacked against the Cowboys. They're going to start their fourth quarterback in the last five games. The first career start coming for Garrett Gilbert today. What a game to have <laughs> you know, against this defense. It's a game you really don't want to have as your first start, but it is a great opportunity. You only get so many chances, and I'll tell you, I know he's excited, but to go against this defense, it feels like it's a, like a really tough task, isn't it, Jim? No kidding. Doesn't get any harder than this. Then on the other side, you've got Ben playing really well after the injury last year, the elbow surgery and all. And, uh, well, Roethlisberger's led them this to this undefeated start. Yeah, and he's playing great football. He's getting the ball out of his hands, but he's protecting the football. They should have really lost to the Ravens based on yardage, everything that happened in the game last week. But he's protecting the ball, and they're winning these close games. Clutch plays. He's playing really great winning football. Well, the Cowboys do have one major weapon with them today for the latest on the Cowboy injury report. Here's Tracy. Well, that's right, Jim. Ezekiel Elliott has been limited all week in practice with a hamstring injury. Actually, Mike McCarthy telling me before the game, it's not only a strain, but also a bruise. They worked him out for about 20 minutes earlier today. As you can see here, he then went over to his athletic trainer and his running backs coach, and they decided he is going to give it a go. How much he plays today remains to be seen, but Jim, he still has yet to miss a game because of injury. That is, uh, these days, that's a pretty amazing accomplishment, but it's been tough sledding for Zeke like everybody else with that banged up offensive line. He has not had a 100-yard performance this season, but he's up, and he's going to be ready to go when the Cowboys get their opportunity. They have deferred here at the top. They're going to send it down 